everybody, one thing you should always do before finalizing your reports is to delete your unused columns and measures. And this will reduce the size of your report, it'll make your report run faster, and it'll make the flow of your analysis a lot clearer to somebody else looking at your report. So the problem is that sometimes it's hard to determine which columns are not used and which measures are not used. And then even once you determine that, it may be laborious to go through and delete those one by one. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to do all this. Um, so there's a tool called Measure Killer developed by Bruner BI. And it, it came out last year. And it's my favorite new tool on my external toolbar. And if we click on it, um, there are a number of versions of this tool. Um, the one I'm showing you is the free version, and it does everything I need it to do. Um, so what you do is you, you open it up, and then you hit Run. And it'll ask you to confirm the file you want to run on. We'll just hit run here. It'll take a little bit to run. And then the first thing that I like to do is I like to look at the plot. And if we look at the plot here, we can, we can see in this report that I've got a lot of unused columns and a lot of unused measures. Actually, in both cases, more unused than used. And that's because I brought in a really extensive date table and didn't end up using too much of it. Um, I also built a bunch of measures through scripts that I ended up not using because of some additional analyses I chose not to do. Um, so I've got a lot of I got a lot of trash in here that I, I need to get rid of. And let me show you the easiest way to do that. So one of the things Bruno BI has built into this tool is an automatic M code um, script to kill measures. To, I'm sorry to kill unused columns. And you just click this button and it'll go ahead and let's choose, choose our table. And let's say, we, I know we've got a lot of unused columns in the dates table. So we, we take this, this script and we hit control A, control C to copy it. And then we can go into Power Query in our report. And what we want to do is Go to transform data. And we want to go to our dates table. And then into the advanced editor. And what we can do is we can take the existing script and paste over it with the measure killer script. And what that does is that adds this, this line here with all the um, table remove columns with all the columns that are not used. And so if we click done here, this is going to run and it's going to remove all those columns um, by measure killer in that step. And if we wanted to, what we could do is we could, we could X that step out and that would then cancel the, the, the killing of those columns. But this, this is what we want. We want the much smaller table. So we just now go ahead and hit close and apply. And that's going to chug through. And now that finishes up. And now if we go back into Measure Killer and we look at the plot statement again, we can see that we've gone from 82 unused columns down to 43. And so we could rerun that process for each of the, the tables that have unused columns. Instead of running that, multiple times to get down to zero. What, um, what I want to show you is how to kill your unused measures now. And what we can do is we can create this C sharp script. And if you, when you click that, it creates the script right here. And again, we'll hit control A, control C. And this time, instead of going into, into, um, M, we're going to go into tabular editor and It'll, this will work for either, you can do this with either the free version or the paid version of Tabular Editor. I like the Tabular Editor 3 paid version, so that's what I'm going to jump into, but it works fine on the free version as well. And so all you have to do now is just go new C Sharp script, paste that in, and now we hit run script execute script, and we go back into our Tom Explorer 
hit control S to save those changes back to the model. And now when we go back into our report and let's close and reopen measure killer again. And now if we go back to the, the plot view, we can see unused measure zero. So it's taken all those out exactly the way we wanted it to. So that is, that is, I think, a fantastic way to go through and clean your reports. Um, I want to thank Gregor Bruner and his team for a fantastic tool released to the community. And, and thanks so much for all the work that's gone into that. Um, look forward to seeing um, how that continues to develop. But um, something I would definitely encourage everybody to check out and begin um, experimenting with and using on your reports. I hope you found that helpful. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.